All right, Christmas time is here. Uh, wonderful uh, Christmas song and very, very interesting chords here. There's a lot of dissonance going on. You have to be kind of careful about uh, your bass notes and how they relate to the melody notes. But it's very recognizable and a real pleasure to play. I think it fits really well on the guitar. So starting out, we have this, this intro. Okay, and you're pulling off first to the open E, the open E, and then off to the open B. And you could also pick like that if you wanted to. That's the first bit. Another, another pull off, or you can pick. So it's just this E major 7 to B minor, again E major 7 to, to B minor, okay? Now we're into the heart of the song. So reaching up we're going for this E major 7, and this is sort of a big stretch here. You could also do it just even open over the open B string, like that. It's a pretty big stretch, you could also do it. What I do is this, and my tab shows this. There's a lot of other things, other ways you can do it too. too. Okay, so it's the very first chord, and then second chord, this D. And you want to be sure to stop your low E string. And I just kind of pick through it a little bit. Then this ascending pattern. real dissonant real quickly if you're, if you're not careful. If you're gonna pluck every note of the chord, you wanna be sure to stop these strings for the open E string, because it gets real hairy, but you can play it first, or just play the single string, or play the chord, then stop those strings. So that's the whole descending part there. And kind of a big stretch. If it's too big of a stretch, it's easier if you just play the single on notes. Which is also pretty good. You can also play, this is the open A string, rather than playing it fretted. the tab for the exact chords. Yeah, it's a bit of a stretch, but using the open A for the second for the second note helps. Okay. And we're into this sort of bridge section over the C major seven. So we're moving up a little higher here, and the bass note is not so low. Just play it confidently, and it doesn't really matter, you know, rather than trying to go down there for the root. We'll get down there eventually. Not too hard. And then doing the opening, um, the opening chords, the first verse chords, down an octave now. down an octave. Uh, not hard to do, just uh, you just have to be very articulate when you're playing any kind of melody low down the string. So once again, that's twice. It's a bit of a stretch there. You can pick up any notes you're not using just to make sure to mute them. I also did kind of a melody, or rather an improvised solo, just over those verse chords, which is really just an E to a D, O, D. So it's a really easy way to fit in a solo. Just play your open E string and your open D string, and improvise first an E major, then D, 
and you can do D Lydian. Or just E major. I think I think either sound fine. There's E major then D major and E major D major. In the recording it's much more E major to D Lydian. basically all the parts and I switch them around a little bit just for variety you can sort of do it any order you want I think because uh, the original song is uh, pretty short it doesn't have the piano melody in there but with jumping between the octaves just play each of those parts um, and you can really just go verse chorus verse chorus solo verse chorus I may play that bridge a second time and it comes out to be a pretty interesting song myself I, I usually end with the high part again just like the opening Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions.